Bruno Mars, representing Pittsburgh, California. So the Keep It Real tour just kicked off with the free show in Rock Island. How'd that go and what are you expecting to see on the tour? Anything crazy? <laughs> yes. I better see something crazy. It ain't gonna be right, but man, it's just it's gonna be a lot of love, I feel, you know what I mean? Rolling with this dude here. You know, he he's really been hitting the pavement, you know what I'm saying? As far as tours go, so I'm following the lead right now, you know. What is your process for making a song? Do you listen to a beat and write to it, or do you write and then choose the beat? Shit, for me, you know, a lot of music just inspired me, you know. If I'm just happening to be listening to some shit, I might just get inspired to do that type of song. But, you know, this horrorcore shit, you know, it, it drives me. So, you know, these cats like Sick Mob, shit like that, that we, that we rolling with, even them dudes inspire me. You know what I mean? So, a lot of the young cats keep me going. With me, man, I just smoke weed, you know what I mean? And, and listen to beats. And then I'll be so high, and I'll be like, that sounds tight, and then I'll write, and then it turns into me all night working on a song and smoking weed, and then eventually eating cereal. So that's the process right there. <laughs> What are who influenced you to want to pursue a career in hip hop and why? Man, shit, you know, cats like, you know, Run DMC, for me, uh, you know, Ice T, Ice Q, a lot of them dudes, you know, made me just want to step in the arena, you know what I'm saying? Rock him, all old school cats, you know, even, you know, cats, cats like Fat Boys, you know, that just really made me want to just be a musician, you know? Like for me, man, I, I grew up a fan of all this type of music from Brother Lynch Hunt to X Rated to Esham and Gangsta Nip and, you know, ICP and, and all of it, man. I was just a big fan of it. So when I started rapping, it, it just came out like that. You know what I mean? and it was just a hobby, man. I just had fun with it, and it just so happens that it just kind of got bigger and bigger and bigger to where, you know, I, I never assumed it would be a career and it became a career. So, you know, it was nothing that was really planned, it just happened. And once you start making a large amount of money, it, you don't want to get a regular job. Like, yeah, fuck that, I'm gonna just do this, you know what I mean, so. City music. If you've been down day one, when I first hit it on the world, it's spinning, you partly to worship the wicked. If you've been down day two, don't matter, motherfuckers, stay true. They too can be worthy to worship the wicked. And if you just got down shit, and no tongue is here, so be it, come on. What's your favorite part about performing live? My favorite part is just touching the fans, man. I roll up in these cities, man, and they, they look at me like, can't believe you fucking here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? Just to touch.
such fans that I've never seen, but they've been listening to me for years and years. So, you know, it's, you really feel the love when you start hitting the road. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to agree with him, man. Just like, just going to a different state where you're not from, and you're not familiar with, and people there got so much love for you. People that show up, uh, the amount of people that buy your stuff or know your songs, or all this, they're just excited to see. I got bitches on my ticket shows, niggas sitting everywhere I go, they're taking off their clothes, but shit's blown. Even though I talk about a rapist, murder, Satan, Jesus, Christ, 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 Jesus, Christ,
inspires you to write? What state of mind do you have to be in to create your music? You know, my shit is really driven by anger. You know, I can honestly you know, admit that. You know what I mean? And uh, shit, sometimes it's depression. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just a good feeling when you're just feeling good smoking some shit. Or you just high as fuck and you just need to focus your energy somewhere. So, it comes from a lot of places. I think Mostly anger. Yeah, anger. Anger has a lot to do with the man. Like, I always make, like on this last project, the Zodiac CD, I, uh, I went through so many different stages in a year where I was happy and like everything was perfect in my life to like, you know, a breakup and like I kind of like had my family split, split apart and then, you know what I mean? And then the emotion that came from that and to the, the emotion that came from picking up the pieces and then getting out there and grinding. I, I went through a lot of shit, so I would say that if you listen to the CD, the ones that are more personal are the ones that I think are the greatest. So I think emotion has a lot to do with all, all of our stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, obviously we can't be out there really killing people all the time. Right. You know, doing what we say, but that's how we feel at the time. Or sometimes we're depressed. We feel like we don't want to live no more. Or, you know what I mean? And, and instead of doing that, we, we, we write about it, we rap about it. And people who are feeling like that at the time, like that right now so I think that's that that's my best shit. I got you, I need you don't worry about shit. They fuck with you, they fuck with me. Somebody about to get hit. Stay in lane, motherfucker. Watch how you swerve. Playing the game without somebody about to get hurt. This is one hell of a crucifixion. Life is full of addiction. Conflict with my convictions. Leaving another innocent victim. I'm losing my religion. your guys' biggest musical influence right now? Tech Nine. You know, he did this fucking record breaker tour this year. You know, if that don't inspire you, dude, I don't know what the fuck will. So, you know. I'm inspired by a lot of cats like who do things on their own. Who didn't wait to be signed by a label or who didn't wait to be you know, discovered. They just went out and they already discovered themselves. They push themselves and they're self-made, you know what I mean? Like, I like people like Tech 90 who, who was waiting to get signed and he was like, fuck it, let's do it by ourselves. And went out and did it. ICP went out and did it themselves, you know what I mean? And I think that's that's kind of where I go with my music. I don't wait for nothing. I just like to just go and do it. I gotta get my head together, make better What is the best piece of advice you've ever gotten? One time, my uncle told me, man, you know what I mean, never pass up the pussy. Cause when you're old, you're gonna be like, damn, I should have just fucked that bitch. I don't know what the fuck. And you know, the same guy was fucking like, you know, it's okay to fuck fat chicks too. 
not going to be sleepy with her, you know what I mean? He's a weird guy, though, so I don't know. But I don't know if that's the best advice, because I kind of took that and ran with it. Now, that's good advice, right. Who knows what I have now? What about you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, basically, man, on some real shit, you know, I was informed to stay humble with this whole shit, man, because I'm lucky. You know what I'm saying? To be in this shit, man. With the people love the fuck out of you. You know what I'm saying? So, we on this four scale. You know what I mean? We not in the mainstream, but we got diehard fans. It's, it's a good fucking feeling. So I just stay humble with this shit, though. Because, you know, your head can, can swell. Thank you for Cloudy Judgment. With the city music, sick mob. Wicked ways, wicked motherfucking ways, and devil boy, call it judgment, motherfucking Mars. Yeah. Thank you, motherfuckers, yeah. coming out supporting the wicked shit. Keep it real, tours concluded. Check my shit out at madinsanity.com. All the latest news, tour. We have a store on there. You can buy my CDs or charms or whatever I got. You know what I'm saying? Go to twittercom mars or at Mars for Twitter. At Mad Insanity on Instagram, uh, Facebook.com slash Mark, and uh, my social security number is, uh, right. fuck, I forget right now, but right. you know what I mean? Check me out on all that shit. My cell phone number is 925 395. No, I should be good. Okay, now, man. Then, uh, then check your shit out. Right, too. man. You know, like I said, man, the uh, masterpiece and, uh, and shirts, t shirts, and shit, all at gorehop.com. You know what I'm saying? And uh, check me out on iTunes. Where I got all my shit at. Check me out on Twitter at Mr. Mastermind. Get at me on Facebook, Mastermind the Hellraiser. I'm out here, man. Let's do it. I just got one more thing to say, man. Okay. No, no, no. The wicked shit will never die. No. Yeah.